everyone, it's Brittany and today I am doing a haul video. This is kind of like a collective haul. I have a lot of items from like accessories to clothing to shoes to home decor to like random bits and bobs. So I'm gonna try not to ramble and just get into it and let's start with accessories. The first place I got stuff from is called Sparkles and Pop and they make beautiful, beautiful accessories other than wearing like chokers or really kind of like fine, simple, thin jewelry. I love like big statement kind of like boho tribal stuff. And I think this one out of everything, I'm showing it first because it's my favorite. I'm gonna try and do some close-ups of it because it's just so beautiful. It's like one of those like amazing statement pieces. And it is called the Burnish Tribal Necklace. Bib. Bib. Burnish Tribal Bib. And I think that's gonna be the only name I remember, but this is uh she's so beautiful. And then I also got one that's kind of a more like burnt gold. It's not like a shiny gold, which I, I for this type of look I love more of like a antique gold. And it's just such a statement. It's so beautiful. I'm obsessed with these two pieces. I also got some cuffs. I have this one, and if you saw my go-to casual outfit video, I was wearing the silver one. I also got this, and this is the, the tag that comes on it. Isn't it cute? It's like lime green with little polka dots, and then they come in these little like felt bags, and this is just a kind of simple yet still a statement cuff. And I also got this one. This is not really, I wouldn't call it like a bib, but it's still a statement. It's more of... I would say a belly dancing necklace, that is not the name, but that's how I would describe it. It makes a little bit of noise. The last necklace is just this statement silver kind of choker chain. It's not super choker like, but it, it hangs more kind of like this one does, it's not like up against the neck. And this one kind of reminds me of, oh I don't quite remember her YouTube name. But I remember she used to make necklaces like this. Her YouTube name was like HR Collection. But, oh, there goes my dog. Oh, found the silver one. This is the silver one. It's kind of almost a chevron print thing. Not print, what would you call it? Design, chevron design. Last, and I'm gonna have to do a close up of these because they're so small, but it is just little stackable rings. Some are two sets, three sets, and then a single gold moon and star ring. So these will just be really cute to wear all together and have like a ring day. The other item I got is, I feel weird showing my ring like this. Again, I'm gonna have to do a close up of this because this, you cannot see the beautiful ring that I'm wearing this far away. It is kind of, I want to say amethyst, but it's not amethyst. It's more kind of a lavender crystal with this jagged gold outline around it. I'm describing this horribly. It is really adorable. It is from Market. It is not from Sparkles and Pop and it did sell out the first day it went up and I think there's more in stock right now if you're wanting to get this for the holiday. And I think that's all the jewelry. I'm gonna move all this. I'm making such a mess you guys. You have no idea. Next, if you watch my go-to casual outfit then you saw these. They are converse, but they're wedged, so this part right here is kind of platformed inside. Really comfortable, I've been wearing these all the time. They also come in white, at least the store I was in, and all black. I went with the basic one. If you want to see these ones on, actually let's just put a clip, what am I saying? I'm not going to be lazy, I'm going to import a clip for you guys. Next item is an accessory and it's a little bit different. They are temporary tattoos from mytat.com and I have a whole Bunch. Funny story about this, I don't have many tattoos, but as you might have seen, I do have a couple. This is probably the one that stands out the most day to day, but I have some kind of like, this is definitely the biggest, but I have some kind of like all over, I guess. I thought the temporary tattoos would kind of be fun, and at least I would get to express myself and kind of ease, I guess, my family and friends into it. Not that I'm going to tap myself up. Crazy. My boyfriend really wants me to get a sleeve. I don't see myself doing that personally, but I also never saw myself getting any kind of tattoo in general. No. To each their own. I'm not going to go into that. Pretty much, I got temporary tattoos, and it's going to be really fun because 
since, as I said, my boyfriend wants me to get a sleeve, he wants to create a sleeve out of temporary tattoos. So I got an infinity and it has like a feather and I think it says love and live on it and then a watercolor feather that matches my hair perfectly, some kind of like the foil ones that are all metallic and then what do you call this? The skull, sugar skull and some cute like flower and text and then a whole bunch of pages of these foil designs so I'm pretty much gonna go crazy with this maybe I'll input some clips if I actually do make a sleeve out of these if you are interested in these yourself I will put where I got them from the mytat.com they have tons of different designs so the link will be in the description and you can check that out yourself the only last accessory piece I have is from Urban Outfitters and then I also got a shirt from them and it is this like random home decor kind of a thing. I was looking for a toothbrush holder and I kept going to Urban Outfitters because they have some cute ones. They had like a gold tooth, but they have this hippo one that also holds your toothpaste in its mouth. And then it has four slots for toothbrushes. So with my roommates, I just thought this would be kind of cute to have. And I don't know, no one said anything about it, but everyone's been using it. The other item I got from Urban is this v-neck that is all kind of shredded. It's almost burnt, it looks like, because each hole is kind of almost like crispy and brown, which sounds, it's not that crispy. It just has like a little bit of brown. It sounds gross what I'm describing, but it's definitely like a destroyed white t-shirt. I like basic pieces that have like a little bit of like something else to it. I probably didn't wash this because I actually wore it all day and all night for maybe like two, three days, so I'm gross. Next, I got some pieces from a new store called Luminally, and I got a couple of one teaspoon jeans. These ones are like a boyfriend jean, they're just distressed, and I tend to crop boyfriend jeans just because I like how they look better on my body. They are the awesome baggies, and it says low waist, medium rise, relaxed leg and they are pretty sure a size 25 and they definitely are oversized boyfriend fit. The other pair I got I wore in my go-to casual outfit video and let me see which one you are. They are the Trash Freebirds and Illuminati. They also have these in black which I thought were really cute too. They have a little zipper at the bottom and I do wear these kind of low, like low, low rise, kind of do like the Gwen Stefani throwback thing where you have kind of like tight boy briefs on. That's what I did in my go-to casual outfit video if you want to see how I style something like this. And again, these are size 25 and they are a baggy fit. The other item I got from Luminali is this motel cropped fuzzy sweater. It's definitely a, again, statement piece. I feel like this whole video I've been saying statement over and over again. This is just like one of those items that is like so soft, so warm, so fuzzy. You just feel so like chic in it with a pair of high waisted pants and like black heeled booties and like a high ponytail. It just feels so high fashion and I don't know what. Next, I went to Forever 21 and I did the normal Forever 21 walkthrough where I grab a ton of things that I think I'm gonna love taking up the changing room and come out with one item. So I picked this item, I think it's, it was a really good price for being a sweater. It's not cropped, but it's not a long sweater either, and it has a little kind of like zipper in the back. I just like sweaters. I'm a sweater freak, pretty much. The next item is this beautiful, dainty date night shirt. It is kind of like a dark blue with a hint of purple in it, and it just has this like very nice open front and like a little bit of the under camisole, camisole? Camisole. Lace sticks through, and it looks really good with like a statement necklace, and then the back is just really risque. Biker! We're almost done. Last store I went to was Victoria's Secret, and if you know me, I don't like to wear bra bras. I either wear strapless bras, or I wear the Camille lace bra from Urban Outfitters. But I found these ones from Victoria's Secret, and I just feel like they, they don't have like underwire really in them, but they have a little bit of like a push-up to them. And my problem with the lacy bras is the whole nipple thing with a t-shirt don't really mix that well in fall. So I need something with like a little bit of padding to protect myself from everyone, I guess. A lace sports bra with like a little bit of padding. They're from the pink line, so I got them 
in black and then also a white color. I also bought a sleep shirt which is inside out now. It is just a red color with some black kind of, what do you call this? What do you call this? Jersey circles? I'm gonna call them jersey circles. And it says, I am not a morning person because that could not be more true. I hate the morning and I love long t-shirts. So I can just wear this as like a little dress with some over these socks and I feel really cute and comfy for winter. Really motorcycle? The last item is impossible to show you because it is, ah, hit me in the face. It is a Victoria's Secret onesie, but it does not have feet and it does not have a hood, which kind of sucks because I love those features in a onesie. It says I only sleep in pink and then it has, I thought this was cute. It's like a little butt flap where you can like unbutton. This is, I would say, classic long johns. Not so much a onesie actually. Well, we made it to the end. I think I got through everything. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in a comment down below on what was your favorite item and I guess like this video if you would like and I think, I think that's pretty much it. I think, I think we're done. Goodbye guys. <laughs> I'm so weird.